Hi there, it's Debbie here. Let's go over Stamping 101, the basics of stamping. What am I going to need to get started? The first thing I do when I sit down to stamp is pop down a silicone mat in order to protect my work surface. The one that I'm using here is our extra large. It will protect your work surface from the solvents, from the polishes, and the files, the things that could possibly damage a wooden table, for example. When your kit arrives, take out your stamper. This is a big bling stamper. Remove it from the package. And don't forget to take out the scraper. You're gonna need this guy. Take out your stamper. The big bling comes with a cap, protective cap, and a base. Now in the base, you also have your extra jelly. So this isn't designed to be a stamper because it's solid, it doesn't have a lot of give. So it's not the best for stamping, but it sure is perfect for protecting that extra jelly. How to prep your stamper before you stamp. I like to use the sticky pad. Sticky pad comes with this protective covering Remove the first layer to reveal your sticky. When I'm using this on my desk, I prefer to actually remove the pad from the covering. I'll put it back in this before I put it in my drawer to protect it, but I don't like to have it in that when I'm using it on my desk. So I just pop that pad out and set it to the side and it's ready to go. So that's what I'm gonna to use to prep my stamper because the only thing you need to do to prep your stamper is give it a roll on top of that sticky pad. Sticky pad, a lint roller is exactly the same thing. That's ready to go. When your plates arrive, they come with a protective blue film. So it's important to remove that blue film before you attempt to stamp. So all you do is start that corner with tweezers or with a tool and simply pull it back to reveal your gorgeous stamping plate. Okay, when you get your plates, they also come with these cards. The cards are perfect for designing your new Manny. The clear one will show you the size of the images and really that's so helpful when you're deciding where you're going to put images. So you can see just by holding it over top of your nails, you can see what will fit where and you can design your Manny using the clear card. The other card that comes with your stamping plate is the step-by-step -step guide and this will show you how to put the images together. So for example, this flower, this plus this, equals this. And it makes it a little bit easier to find what goes with what on your stamping plate. The other side shows each of the images put together and is really, really great if you're struggling with colors, what colors to start with, what colors to use. If I wanna use dark and light, this gives you a really excellent starting off point to decide what colors to use. The next thing I'm gonna need is stamping polish. Stamping polish is very important. We have designed our stamping polish with a lot of extra pigment in it, which just makes it easier to lift from the plate onto the stamper. Our bottles are small because when you're layered stamping, you want to have more colors, not more polish necessarily. So five mil bottles, you'll be surprised, last a very long time because you don't use very much polish when you're stamping. Cleaning off your stamping plate. We have Clear Jelly Stamper Plate Cleaner. If you can't get your hands on Clear Jelly Stamper Plate Cleaner, then what we recommend using is a good quality polish remover and try and find a polish remover that does not have added oils. A lot of companies these days are adding extra oils for your cuticles just to protect your cuticles, but unfortunately that really makes stamping tricky. So, good quality polish remover, 
mixed half with acetone and you'll get a version of plate cleaner. You can use cotton pads, you can use cotton balls, you can use lint-free pads, whatever your preference. I love these ones that have a woven side to them and we get these in Canada at Costco. So if you can get your hands on those, they're great. That's what I'm gonna use just over top of the plate to make sure there's no dust, no residue, nothing on this plate before I start my stamping. And that's it, that's all you need. Make sure your stamping plate is dry after you use a solvent on it, whether you're using acetone, polish remover, plate cleaner, doesn't matter. You want to make sure that there's nothing left pooling in the images that you're going to use. Because once you add polish, if there's some of that residue, it'll mix together and it'll make lifting very tricky. Okay, let's zoom in here a little bit because we're almost ready to lift our first image. Let's do this flower to start. It's very simple. One, two. We've got the pink and we've got the orange for our petals and our center. It'd be a great place to start. So number 68 is the pink color that I'm going to use. Make sure that your polishes are very well mixed. If your polishes have been sitting and you haven't stamped for a while, you'll want to make sure that they're well mixed. They can separate and then they won't work properly. So here we go. Now the image that we're doing is right here. There's our petals and there's our center. So let's do the petals first. And I'm going to stamp them. Let's stamp them right onto my thumbnail. So my plate is clean, my polish is mixed, and I'm just going to place the polish over top of those petals. And now I'm going to hold my stamper in one hand and my scraper in the other and I'm going to hold my scraper at a 45 degree angle. With my stamper in hand ready, as soon as I scrape I'm going to roll over top with my stamper and pick up that image. So there's that image picked up. Now you'll notice that there's extra polish that has scraped over onto other images that I don't want to go onto my nail. So I'm going to use the side of my stamper, looking through my stamper, or side of my scraper, looking through my stamper, and just stamp off those extra images onto the side of the scraper. So now it's clean, ready, and it's the only thing left on my stamper. So over a polished nail, I'm working over top of gel polish, but if you're working over top of normal polish, just make sure it's dry. I'm going to go to the nail, decide where I want this to sit. That's the nice thing about a clear stamper is I can see exactly what my options are. And now I'm going to push onto the nail, give it a little wiggle, and then roll off and leave that image behind. And there we go. So now we're ready for the second layer. 193 is a gorgeous golden color. And let's make sure that it's well mixed. And this is the image that is our center. So we'll cover it with the polish. And with my stamper in hand, I'm going to scrape and immediately roll over top. And I'm using almost no pressure at all. I am not pushing down on the plate when I roll over top of it. I'm just using the weight of the stamper and rolling over. So that guy, cleaned him up and now he's ready to just pop into place so look through your stamper down toward the nail decide where you want that center to go push I always give a little wiggle 
and then roll up. And now I have a lovely flower positioned perfectly on my thumbnail. Next, let's do a strawberry from this pretty 350 plate. And let's do this really pretty one that looks like, almost looks like a heart. Make sure that it's gonna fit. Using our clear mani planning sheet, and that'll fit perfectly. So the image on the plate is right here. So these four. So we'll need a red, something for the seeds, so a gold, and then we have two colors for the green stem. So two greens. So let's use number 62 for our strawberry color. And we'll put it over that image. Roll off my stamper, make sure it's clean. And I'm gonna scrape and immediately roll over top with light, light pressure, almost no pressure at all, just the weight of the stamper. And then on the side of my scraper, I'm gonna remove any extra images. We'll go straight onto this pretty pink tip and press, hold for a second, and roll away. Now we've got the color of our strawberry. So next let's do the seeds. And we'll use 193 for that. Make sure that it's well mixed. Perfect. Over top of that image. Stamper in hand ready to go. Scrape and lightly roll over top. Just a gentle roll, almost a flick of the wrist over top of that image. We've got all those little seeds. And then we'll look through our stamper and position them over top of our strawberry. Give it a little push and a wiggle and roll away. And now we're ready for our stem. So two colors, I'm gonna start with a lighter color and then outline it essentially, give the details in a little bit darker. So 89 is the color I selected for the first layer. And cover that image. So scrape and roll immediately over top. You don't wanna wait after you scrape. If you picture the amount of polish that you are leaving behind, it's very, very little polish that you're leaving behind. So it's gonna start to set or get hard, cure, right away. So don't wait. Immediately roll over top after you scrape. And there's our next layer, the first of the green. And then 226 is the color I'm gonna use for the darker green. And our last layer of this pretty little heart-shaped strawberry. So this is a bit finer image. So I'm gonna make sure that this stamper is ready to go the second I scrape to pick up all of those delicate, pretty little images and light, light pressure. You'll be amazed how delicate an image you can lift with light, light pressure. And now we're just gonna go over top of that pretty green and create those little details over our strawberry. So there you have it, the basics of stamping. My team is always available, info at Clear Jelly Stamper. We are happy to answer any questions, happy to help you troubleshoot. We have lots and lots of videos. We're here to help. We wanna see what you're creating, so please tag us when you create. We love to see what you're making. 
We love to see your posts and we love to see you stamping. So thank you so much for watching today. Happy stamping and we'll see you in the next video.